How you all going? It's Jai, that Aussie metal guy here with Crank. And today I'm having a chat to the guitarist from the legendary death metal band Cataclysm, Jean-Francois Dagonese. Sorry, man, if I mutilated it with my Aussie accent. J <laughs> JF. <laughs> no, JF, it's all so good. You JF. know, I, I... Cheers, man. I, cheers. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't mutilate it too bad, did I? <laughs> no, 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 it was good. Uh, it's JF Dagenet. But, uh, you know, I, I live in Dallas, Texas. And yeah. uh, it's, it's the same thing here. I, I get butchered everywhere I go. It sounds like uh, I, I, they make it sound like I'm uh, some kind of French mustard or something like that. <laughs> but, yeah, I, was, I, I knew I had that last one wrong. We've got a, a French Canadian <laughs> editor over there as well in Canada. And she's... um. Yeah, she has trouble keeping up with my my lingo. That's for sure. <laughs> but uh, no, you sound great to me. I I, uh, I can't. We we've been there many times to Australia, and I love the accent, and I, I love how it sounds, and I think it's uh, it's fantastic. <laughs> uh, cool, man. I, this is an absolutely amazing album, and it's your fourteenth studio album for Cataclysm, who have had an amazing career and you guys are also coming up on 30 years. So congratulations for, on the on Concord album, man. And oh, thank you. congratulations on coming up on 30 years. Yeah. Thank you. I, I can't believe that it's 30 years already. Uh, we started this band in high school and uh, we, we all met there in detention <laughs> after school <laughs> because we were four troublemakers and, and we got together and decided to start the, an extreme heavy metal band and we wanted to piss off people and make some some uh, loud music, and uh, here we are, thirty years later, and I, I still can't believe it because it's like it, it it felt much quicker than that, and we did so much, but at the same time things went super fast, and uh, life goes flies fly by really fast, and it's just an insane thirty years. But here we are new album on Concord, and we were very proud of it. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's an amazing, amazing album, man. It starts off with, with the kill shot there, which is the first single off of it, dude. Can you tell me a little bit about that track, JF? Yes, uh, kill shot was one of the first track we wrote for this rec record, and we also felt that uh, it would be the perfect, perfect first single because it kind of combines elements that you find all over the record, so uh, we, we figured out if you like the kill shot you'll like the album i think it's a great in introduction track and the, the intro at the beginning is so epic oh, it's yeah. it, it, it's perfect for for the first single and thank you for for playing it <laughs> yeah I, I i've been i'm a massive fair fan of cataclysm dude that last album was absolutely amazing the cataclysm fans are just gonna lose their top when they hear this unconquered album can you tell me a little bit about the making and the recording and production process for this Yes, absolutely. We uh, we started uh, uh, working on it. Me, it was me and Mauricio most mostly that wrote this record. It's something that we used to do back in the day when we started the band. Me and him, uh, I, I felt we have have always shared that sort of uh, special chemistry and magic when it comes to writing music, and we wanted to go back to that. So it was mostly me and him that that wrote this this one together, and uh, it 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 just worked really really nicely the song came alive like really quickly and spontaneously and um another thing that makes this the sound of this new album very special is we switch from six string guitars to seven string guitars and uh, that added an extra layer of heaviness everywhere on on this record and uh the the, the production went smooth we recorded everything within I uh, believe a month, a month and a half, and uh, we worked really hard at it, but everybody was so ready. It didn't take too long to get the thing done, and then we shipped the masters out to the UK, uh, where, where the legendary Colin Richardson uh, mixed the record, and we were so happy when we heard the first mix. Uh, I think he did a fantastic job. Uh, for those who don't know, Colin Richardson is... Uh, uh, a very famous producer from the early 90s uh, uh, 2000s and worked on many of our many albums that I think are my favorite metal albums uh, to this date as far as sound and all that and uh, he, he's, uh, he's in his 60s he was retired and uh, we kept on bugging him to do <laughs> this record and he actually said yes so we're so happy about it 
Yeah, well, I've seen that he come out of retirement to do this, man. That must have been a really cool buzz for him to kind of, for you guys as well, for him to come out and go, hey, look, I'm going to get this album down for Cataclysm. Yeah, he, he, he loved it, and we loved working with him. And yep. we we're really crossing our fingers and hoping that he wants to do the next one as well. He said yes, but uh, <laughs> we're, we 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 hope it happens because it's it's a lot of circumstances that needs to be right, and and also he, he doesn't have his own studio, so we had to rent. Uh, we we actually rented Andy Sneap Studio uh, okay. um, in the UK, and he, he he and Chris Clancy, the 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 other engineers that he works with, uh, uh, worked on it, and it's, it's the so happy about it, and we hope to do it the exact same way the next one. Yeah, and the seven-string guitar definitely adds a, a a new depth and a bit more. I don't know, a bit more something. You just, it's got that there, dude. It's unreal, man, and it keeps that um the, those themes of that that brutal guitar themes that you guys <laughs> have. It's just, dude, it's really cool. What was it like um moving up to the seven-string? Is this something you'd want to do for a while? Yeah, I was I was looking into it because I I l- always love that sound and, and those bands that uses it and. Uh, the, the thing that made me uh, make the step on this album was that I find the quality of manufacturing of those types of guitars nowadays yeah. are so much better than 10 years ago. Uh, so it's it, it's so easy to play in that down extremely low tuning now and keep everything straight and, and, and to perfection. Yep. And when I'm, I, I started I picked up one of those guitars and I was like, okay, okay, this is great. I, I started writing music and for that tuning and I showed the other guys and everybody was blown away with, with what we can do and the, all those new textures of sounds and, and new things you can do with that lower tuning. It, it, it just made sense to us and it feels like we're pushing the envelope uh, beyond what we ever did. And uh, that's that. That was the key uh, element for us, and we want to keep exploring that and pushing further as uh, as 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 far as we can, basically. So, hopefully, yep. we keep on that trajectory for the next record, and and keep. Uh, exploring uh, what we can do with those those guitars i was telling the guys jokingly like you know, let, let's move to eight for the next one <laughs> <laughs> uh, you'd be able to handle that no problems at all <laughs> well, while we're talking about guitars i had i had a question from one hour for our readers who's a guitarist himself yes yes he wanted to know what's the secret to your brutal guitar tone that you have well it's a uh, it's something we crafted over the years but it, it, it'd be probably a uh, uh, interested to know that it's uh, like our sound is such a simple setup. Uh, a lot of people are thinking like, like, uh, like, oh, they, they they use all these processors and effects and amps and different things, and it, it's actually just a simple setup. And I can tell you right now, we're what we're using. It's a, it's an original uh, PV fifty one fifty that I bought back in the day when I uh, started playing uh, guitar. And those amp, the first year they, those amplifiers came out, I bought one of those, and uh, that's kind of like the 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 sound, like it's this amplifier yep. with with a Mezabuki cab and a, 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 a tube screamer to overdrive the whole thing and push the whole thing uh, in a in a heavier way, and that this this is what we're, we've been using, and and the pickups that I use on this new album the the fishman modern fluence i find they made a, a, a difference also in the tone because these pickups are kind of half active half passive the, the sound yep. that comes out of them and it's very combination of the the a perfect combination for for that metal extreme extreme uh, overdriven tone and uh, yeah so it's the same chain and uh, yep. the, those pick minus those pickups and the seven string plus the way it was processed by colin uh it just came out amazingly yeah cool cool i hope that answers his question that's well done thank you very much for answering that one can i ask about the track cut me down with um Thomas from Wolfheart, dude. Wolfheart is a band that I've been getting into for a while as well. Uh-huh. They're, they're an amazing band. And if you haven't heard Wolfheart, or if you're listening to this, go out and check out Wolfheart. They're absolutely unreal. I was really rapt to see him on this album, dude. Can you tell me a little bit about that track uh, as well? Yeah, Cut Me Down was a track that uh, uh, is more of a, 
of like almost like a melodic that has more melodic edge to it and then there's yeah. a lot of harmonies like i think there's like parts with like two three four layers of harmonies in there and i went crazy with all, with all that <laughs> and it's it was it was almost an experiment at some point to how deep we can push these melodies but it came out wonderfully and and yes two of us from wolf arts on there and he's got some great vocals he's a friend of ours uh, we love wolf art uh, we we've got the pleasure to meet with them on, on various festivals and we thought it would be a great addition to this track specifically because it has that modern uh, melodic edge and his vocals are, are perfect for, for that and uh, we're happy that he accepted to do this and be on there with us and uh, so, such a killer song for this record uh, it's it's an amazing track I, I... I'm just blown away by this whole album, man, as I am by everything you guys have uh, brought out over the years. I've noticed a little bit of the the aggression. It's still like uh, cataclysm aggression, but you also have a little bit more of positive activity in it. And I think um, Maurizio was saying there's a little bit more of a positive aggression to the album. Like, yes, it's uh, cataclysm, it's aggressive, but it's got a little bit more of the, the positive aggression in it as well. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're, we're, like, we're getting... Uh, uh, older in age and we're yeah. in our mid forties now. And I, I feel we want to write music, uh, write lyrics about what matters to us at, uh, in our present age. And we didn't want to become that band that writes only for teenagers forever <laughs> yeah. uh, with, with, with simple brutal lyrics. And we, we just want, we, we wanted to make sense out of all this and take the opportunity to express how we feel about uh, certain things that, happens to us in life and sometimes it's met metaphorical but most of the times it's straight to the to, to the point and uh yeah i really uh like the way Mauricio developed uh his sense of uh like the way he is as a lyricist and the way he performs as a vocalist as well i think he's uh -huh. better than better than he's ever been as in his old career so uh it's it's awesome to to play with him musically and I, I i can't wait to go to go back with him and keep writing music for the next one because i think we're we're uh, such in a on a roll here and uh, i think we should keep going <laughs> yeah well with the way things are going it's probably not going to be too many shows at least maybe for this year and looking probably yeah. well into 2021 so maybe a lot more time for you guys to get back in there and lay down some more work for a next album eh? Exactly. I mean, we, I, I, I'm, I'm like, like, like we, we talked about. I'm not the type of guy that I like to sit around and do nothing home. So, yeah. I prefer to take the time and uh, I work with many different bands in my studio and I also, uh, also keep on writing music and this is just what I do. I, I love doing it and. Uh, like right now, I'm working on some new music for a project band called XDO. So uh, I'm working some so on some songs for that. It should be released eventually sometime next year as well. And um, hopefully do some more Cataclysm stuff. And uh, we want, we want, we're very open that the world reopens and we can actually start touring again. We miss playing live and we miss traveling. Yeah, well, it, it would be something you should be looking forward to to get this album out and at least play it to a few of the fans, eh? Because it just... Yeah, oh, it's... Thanks, it's, it's I, looking forward to bring the Seven String live and see how that sounds in the, in the, in the, in the big festival going yeah. with, with those heavy chords going... <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait. <laughs> oh, oh, definitely. And uh, 30 years, man, of also... um. Do you have any big memories that really stand out for you in this 30 year career so far? Man, traveling the world and meeting all those cool people everywhere. And the big moments for me, like, uh, like, like first time you, you go towards the, uh, on like almost like when you're on your side of the world, like you go to Australia and Japan. And it's like, wow, we're playing music on the other side of the world for us. And it's, it's something special. And also when you, when we played those super big open airs for the first time, uh, like you arrive to like say full force in Germany, there's 55,000 people in front of you. And we're like, Holy shit. Like for, for, 
the type of music we play from and then you think about the way we started the band the four of us in high school and then you stand on that stage in front of that many people playing the music that you created and that you yep. love it's an amazing feeling and uh it, it, it it's blows me away because you look at the pictures and you, or you look at the crowd when you're there and it's just everything looks unreal yeah not to mention the countless bands that you guys have influenced as well through your mm -hmm. career that are now playing death metal melodic death metal because you guys have influenced them in their career and now they've taken up music so that must also be a bit of a blast as well when these bands come up and go hey you inspired me to do what i'm doing today <laughs> yeah it's a it's such a compliment when somebody will come to me and say that because it's it's uh I mean, it was the same way for me uh, with with the bigger bands, and I guess uh, for me, one of the bands that got me started playing guitars was Iron Maiden. I was such a fan when I was like 10, 11, 12 years old, and I begged my parents to buy me a guitar, and I wanted to play like them, and I actually got to meet uh, those guys when we played the festival together, and we were like, we ended up being one of the bands that was... Uh, uh, one or two slots before their show and I, I got to meet Adrian Smith, the guitar player, and I was telling him like you're the reason why I, I'm here today playing guitar and having this career and I was uh, happy that I could tell him uh, yep. how, I, how I felt and uh, and he, it was funny because he, he he says like oh, you're from Montreal, and he, then he tells me this whole story about his wife being from Montreal, Canada, and then he goes there a lot too, and uh, we we had a bit of a connection there. But uh, like the other way around, whenever somebody comes up to me and tells me like you're I play guitar because of you guys, it's just so awesome because if we can influence anybody to pick up an instrument and 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 share this passion that we have for music it's a beautiful thing yeah it's nothing but positive um yeah. I'm, go I'm gonna sign out here and let you enjoy the rest of your night mate but before i do do you have any last words or shout outs or thank yous jf big thank you to you guys uh, down, down there like every time we've been there it's been such a blast the shows are have been crazy the the amount of love and support we get from australian fans have always been amazing Big thank you and, and uh, check out this new record. I think it's I think we push the envelope of what we do further and, and uh, give it a shot and enjoy. And let us know what you think. <laughs> yeah, get unconquered, crank it loud. It comes out September 25th. It is an absolutely stomping album. One you want to gonna go gonna want to get and crank really loud so the neighbors can hear as well. Uh, JF, it's an absolute pleasure. Uh, thank you so much for making some time to have a chat with me and Crank and us down here, mate. I really do appreciate it and hoping to catch Cataclysm, hopefully 2021 when all this dies out, mate. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. And thank yes. you for the time. Uh, stay safe. Take care and have a good one, mate. Cheers. Eh? Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.